let me show you how to insert and edit hyperlinks within your Microsoft Word document. Now, I'm using Microsoft Word for Mac, but if you're a Windows user, the process is pretty much the same. In this video, I'll show you how to work with traditional links out to websites, but we'll also look at how to link out to email addresses and how to link from one piece of text to another part of your document. So first of all, I'm going to use a standard link from this text here that I have selected out to my YouTube channel. Now you'll notice after channel, it's actually selected an extra little space here. I'm gonna use the shift key and the left arrow just to take that space out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this text. So this is the text which is going to form the link. We're gonna right click on that and we're gonna go down to link, which you can see is also command K. Now, if I open up the link options here, we're going to click on web page or file that we see at the top here. The next thing I need to do is I need to go to my web page that I'm going to link to. In this case, it's going to be this YouTube channel and I'm going to use command C or I can right click and also copy this URL up here. Now I'll go back to the Word document and I'm gonna paste using command V the address into the address bar here. Now this option you see at the top, this screen tip one, this is a tooltip. so if your user have, hovers the mouse over that text, it will actually tell them where it's linking to. So I might put in here, um, two minute tech tutorials YouTube, just so when they hover over they know where that is going. We'll click OK. If you need to change any of the text that's been displayed, so if you don't want it to say two minute tech tutorials on YouTube, or if you want it to say on YouTube, you could add that in, but we'll just leave it as it is for now. And then what we'll do is we'll click on the OK button and you'll see it has now turned blue. This is now a hyperlink. And when we hover the cursor over this, we can see the tooltip that we typed in as well. When the user clicks on this link, it will take them out to the web page like it has just here. So that's how you add a standard hyperlink to your Microsoft Word document. Now, if you need to make any changes to this, you can actually right click on the hyperlink and you'll see the link option now has a little chevron here. So you can open your link to test it. You can copy it if you're going to be using it in other places. You can also edit it. So if we need to maybe link out to somewhere else, we can change this here. We could change the screen tip if we wanted to as well. And you'll also see within this list here, you can select the link, which basically selects your text which you're linking from. And then finally, you'll see you have the option to remove the hyperlink as well. So if we choose to remove it, you'll see it just completely removes the hyperlink here. I'll just use Command Z to undo that quickly. Now we can also right click here and go into edit and you'll see you have the remove link option down there. So that's how you can add a traditional link within your document to a web page. If you would rather maybe link out to an email, then what you want to do is use the same method to select your text. So in this case, I'm going to use the words email us. And again, it's just selected an extra little space there. So we'll just take that out. And this time, what happens when the user clicks on email us is I want it to actually generate a new email. So we're going to right click here and we're going to go down to link just like we did before. But this time, instead of using web page or file, we're going to use email address. And then what we do here is we type the email address in here that we want the person's message to go to. So for example, it might be something like hello at two minute tech tutorials.com and then the subject is the subject that's going to auto fill in their email so you can put whatever you want in here and this is really useful because if you're maybe setting up a link in your document and you want people to construct their emails automatically but you want them to have a specific subject to be consistent you can pop that in here so this might be something like message from what's this document hyperlink word document okay and then what we can do here is we can click OK and then we have when we right click we have the same options here so we can select it we can edit it we can copy 
let's click on open link and you'll see this time instead of taking us to a web page it's using the mail client on my computer and it's generating a brand new email so it's going to go to this email address that we entered and then this is the subject that we entered as well so this is a great way of allowing users to basically click a link and quickly generate a new email going to the specific email address you have selected with the specific subject the final thing we're going to look at is how we can link to a specific section of this document. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that we have this page here called setting up your document. And what I would like is I would like somebody to be able to click on a little link from here to visit that particular page. So I might say something like um, for more information, um, see the setting up your document page of this let's put guide so then what we can do here is we can select setting up your document and we might include page let's put page as well again shift left arrow just to get rid of this extra little selection here we're now going to right click on this piece of text and go down to link and we're going to use the final option that we haven't used up here, which is this document. Now this lets you do things like scroll to top, so it could be at the very end of your document. If you want users to be taken right back to the top, you could use the top of the document. We have applied a heading style. Now I have a separate video on working with styles, which I'll link to in the card above, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can learn how to use styles properly in your document. But what I've done is I've basically selected one of these styles here, which is this heading two. And that's why we've got under the headings group here, this setting up your document page has a heading style applied and we can link to that. So I'll select that piece of text and I'm going to click OK. And then you'll see here when the user clicks on this button or link, they will be taken to that particular point in the document. The other option I mentioned there, we could go to the very bottom and we could say something like return to the top of this guide. And then if we select this and then go to link, this time let's choose top of document and we'll click on OK. And then you'll see when they click here, it returns them to the very top of the document. Now, if you want to find out a little bit more about linking to specific points within your document, because there's a heck of a lot more you can do, I've got this really helpful video here, which shows you how to work with cross-references within your Microsoft Word document.